Welcome to the chapter Nutrition. Joseph Priestley, who discovered oxygen in 1774, performed a series of experiments to reveal the essential role of air in the growth of green plants. He observed that when a burning candle is enclosed in a bell jar, the flame of the candle is gradually put off. In the same way, a mouse also suffocates in a closed space, such as in an enclosed bell jar, and dies. From these observations, Priestley concluded that a burning candle and an animal change the composition of the air. He reasoned that something was necessary in the air to keep the flame burning and to make the mouse stay alive. Priestley then placed a mint plant inside the same bell jars and he found that the mouse stayed alive and the candle when lighted from outside continued burning in the presence of the mint plant. Priestley hypothesized that the plants produced a gas, oxygen, that supported the burning of the candle and also allowed the mouse to survive respiration. The production of the gas takes place due to a massive exchange of gases occurring through a particular section of the leaves called stomata and also through loose tissues on stems, roots, etc. Let us discuss in brief about how carbon dioxide is useful for photosynthesis.